In the lively capital of Zimbabwe, it's a delight to find charm, calm, and fine cuisine at Sterling Boutique, a classic property with an enchanting garden, individually decorated rooms where history and culture meet creatively through design, fine art, creating a contemporary welcoming style. So we're at Sterling Boutique Lodge, and I think it's such a beautiful property, and it's important that we actually ask the very important questions uh, to the people that are actually in charge. So we've got uh, Natasha Gonese, and I know you're part of marketing and sales, but also you just understand the property uh, more than I do. Yeah. Right? So um, f first and foremost, I'd probably love to know how did uh, how's, how's the vision of Sterling actually coming along? Um, it's a funny story, actually, now that you ask. Um, our directors were always on the move with work. They were always uh, traveling and they were always in hotels. You know, the old hoteling systems with the long corridors and doors across from each other and it was uncomfortable and they were getting really, really homesick. And they just thought to themselves, why don't we do something closer to home? Um, and they decided to, this is actually, an, this establishment is actually um, an old uh, model of their old house. And they wanted people to feel how they might have felt if they were at their house. So basically it's your home away from home. So that's uh, basically how the Sterling brand came into play. Oh, wow. And, and, and I would think that, you know, it's, it's very popular to name uh, establishments uh, with uh, maybe some of the local languages. Yeah. So how come you guys decided to go with uh, the, the, the English direction? Um, I wouldn't say that we completely abandoned the, um, mm -hmm. the vernacular because we our room names are, if you've checked, our room names are basically named after our, the beautiful places around Zimbabwe in vernacular. Mm -hmm. But basically, um, Sterling is uh, a reflection of our brand. Uh, if you if you actually look at the word sterling, what it means is to be excellently valuable. Mm -hmm. So it's a brand promise that we're saying to our customers, to our clientele, that when you come through to sterling, you have a unique experience. You, uh, we're going to deliver excellency always. It's a, a delightfully fresh product, and. Uh, chances are that when you come through, you're going to very much enjoy it. So it's a brand promise. So I couldn't think of a vernacular word that could best mm -hmm. describe that. So basically, that's how we came up with, uh, with the name starting. I like that, a brand promise. Uh, in terms of the brand that you're promising, uh, how, what kind of functions have you guys like hosted so far? Like uh, big functions of big, maybe named people? Or, um, yeah. Okay, so we're, we're very popular with uh, uh, diasporans who are returning home. At her functions, I'm not at liberty to disclose names, but basically we've had high profile celebrities coming through with their families. Um, you know, it's getting old to have to go to your family, uh, to your relative's mm -hmm. place when you come back home. So, you know, they, they come through here. We've had high profile um, government officials. We also have conference facilities that help with uh, NGOs, lots of NGOs. We've had the, the United Nations itself, International Labor Organization. We've had USAID. We, um, uh, basically, so we, because of our conference facility and our accommodation facility, we've been able to, ha to have a market mix. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, basically that's what the brand promise is about. Fantastic. So I, I hear you talking about diasporians and, you know, public figures and so forth. How do people actually find you? Because I remember I used to live just down the road, but I was like, wow, this is a big, fabulous place. And it's, it's, it's actually quite a breath of fresh air because it's literally in the middle of, you know, a northern suburb. So I'm wondering, how do people find you? Um, we have, uh, we're on, on social media, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're um, also, we have a website that's up and running, uh, the credentials which I'll give to you. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have banners all across the nation. Um, so yeah, you just have to search the name Sterling and you'll find us and we're also on Airbnb as well. Nice. Yeah, Booking.com, Expedia, your trip advisor, we're on those platforms. So all you have to do is just search Sterling Boutique and you'll find us. Okay, so now we have to actually look at the property. I think we'll talk to uh, Kudzai later yes. just to see what the property is all about. But I'm getting ready. I need to leave you. Okay. I'm actually going to check out the property. Thank you so much. The public spaces of the modern boutique since the inception of the building provides a spacious place for one to experience inspirational artworks and design both inside and out when you stay at to these one-of-a-kind residents. The scenery places you inside this mesmerizing world of contemporary culture that exudes all the glamour and luxury of its origin. Hi, Samantha. Welcome to Sterling Batik Lodge. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for You're having me. Welcome. I'm happy that you gave me a hug. I'm a big hugger. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to look around? Yes, we are. All right. Come through to the foyer. This is one of my favorite spots, actually. Mm -hmm. um, 
So when we have events, people set up their drinks here. We normally have our welcome drinks here, um, but people just use it how they best feel, you know, how they want to use the building. And I quite like it because oh, that's of, the, of the skylight. Yeah, it brings in all the lights during the day. All right. Come, Samantha, I want to show you our first conference room. This is, um, it used to be for 25, and then uh -huh. we took over that veranda to make it for about 30, 35. Okay. Um, this was even during COVID. Some companies still wanted to have seminars, and yes, and so ex forth. Exactly, yeah. they still wanted to not lose touch. Mm -hmm. And so that's how we've made it bigger. But we do have another one, which I'll show you just now. Right. But this is really for small workshops, it's for seminars, it's for, it can be used as a breakaway room. Different clients just use it for different things. But I could we, bring my team. Yeah. Exactly, you could bring, you know, for brainstorming, for yeah. end of year strategy. But we use it, this is, this is what we call the smaller conference room. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, Samantha, come into our dining room, or some people call it the restaurant. Um, so the guests here can have room service. But sometimes they have people coming over, they want to have their relatives come in, we can dine in here. Yeah. Um, so this is it, but we also have birthday parties. A lot of people are wanting to have birthday parties without the stress of cleaning at home. So we put the tables together and we just do exactly what the client wants. The, yeah, we were trying to be ethnic. Remember you were saying Sterling is an English name? Yeah. So this is the Zimbabwean African feel. So we decided to bring it into the dining room. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're now going to the bigger conference room. Yes. Okay, so this is the bigger conference room I was telling you about. Yeah, so this was um, a COVID project. It used to be a veranda, I think up to about here. And yes, but because of the demand for that room, everyone kept saying, why can't you have it bigger? We need, you know, something that accommodates 100 guests. Um, we want it for functions, we want it for cocktails, we want it for small weddings, we want it for any kind of... Yeah, intimate function. So this is how this conference room um, came into being. Yeah, and it's got its own self-contained bathrooms oh, on the way up. Yeah, right by there, exactly. So you don't even need to go No, in. you don't, you don't. It's self-contained, you know, the bathrooms are there, um, male and female. It's perfect for the guys that are in here. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah, I know you want to see that. <laughs> the accommodation itself is quite exotic and intimate with a beautiful, well-maintained, luxurious garden area that also serves as an outdoor luncheon area and an open plan bar, offering a chance for customers to experience local cuisine and refreshment. A place of possibilities. Sterling Boutique is integrated with spaces for entertainment and socialization and purposely designed to attract patrons with a certain style. Um, so could I know we've, we've kind of gone past some of some parts of the, the property yes. and seen how beautiful it is. Yeah. But I've got so many questions. Please ask. Actually about uh, when you guys actually came into being. Because we know... Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Rotendo. Thanks, thank you, thank you. It does look good. Enjoy. Thank you. So, I mean, we know a lot about, you know, we've seen. Yeah. I want to know where did where did Sterling actually start or when did you build this place and when did you guys start operating? Okay, so that must have been about seven, eight years ago. It was built, but it wasn't completed. So like in the foyer, um, there was grass up to taller than both of us. Mm. And then the owners decided that it was too big to be a home and then it became a boutique lodge from their travel experiences. Um, and then we just did it over about three years, just slowly because it was own funds um, from, from their side. And then we just started advertising and we started getting guests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's beautiful. And in terms of COVID, like yeah. how, how was that for you guys? COVID was really good actually. Really? Yeah, because there were not many um, places put up as COVID centers. Uh -huh. So we just, you'd go to um, the COVID, um, I think it was Zim, Zim COVID or something, and you signed up, went to the Ministry of Health and you'd sign up and then they'd come and see the premises and we were good to go. So we had so many guests from Australia, England, um, the States, just all over. I didn't know people traveled that much until we were booked on a you know, we were always booked. You know, it was over every eight days. We'd get a new cycle in, and it was really good. It was good publicity for us, actually. Really? Yeah. That's actually interesting because a lot of people would have thought that during COVID, things were a bit shaky. It was actually really good business. Mm. Yeah. The quarantine centers, the lux, the lux quarantine centers mm. were very good business. Okay. Yeah. So now we are about to get in. I know Chef is a bit busy. Yes. But I, I think. Uh, yes, we do. Shall I we? think we're both hungry. Yeah. <laughs> 
So Samantha, finally we're at the rooms um, and like we said, the rooms are named after our famous tourist destinations. Yeah, I saw Kariba, I saw Victoria Falls. Matopos, Gonarejo, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to show you two of our favorite rooms, or of my favorite rooms, I should say. Mm -hmm. So there's Sunshine City and there's Vic Falls. Where would you like to start with? Because we're already in the Sunshine City, I think we should go to Victoria Falls. Perfect, let's do, let's do it. So as you requested, we are in Vic Falls today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's coming in. Thank you. So what inspired the design of this? This room. I think it was just that we wanted to do the translucent ceiling. So we thought, what, how can we make it rainforesty? Kind of like when you get to the falls. Um, the shower with the big shower, shower um, head. And yeah, we just thought, if you've never been to Vic Falls, this is sort of like your mini... Vic Falls experience. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Please. I want you to go in first. I know this place left, right and center. Thank you. It feels very ready for us. Exactly. And that's the, that's the feel that we're trying to get to. So if you've never been to Vic Falls, you kind of have an idea what Vic Falls is like. But I mean, we are encouraging people to go to Vic Falls. I mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. If you, if you can't go, then please come here for that. Is there a lot of space? Yeah, there is. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we are in the Sunshine City. Let's get into the sunshine room. Yeah, this room is huge. Like you could play soccer in here and literally you could. Yeah, it's 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 really big. This is I guess the equivalent of our presidential suite. Um I'm still decorating. We still have some stuff coming from China. Um but yeah, so far this is what we've done to the room. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love space and I love, you know, I'm actually, actually. Yes. I think for my sleepover I'm Yes, you do. You need to. This is gonna be your room. Yeah. We might name it Miss Red Room just for right. one night. It's more sweet the whole time here. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and we're finishing off the kitchen. It will be like a kitchen and bar, and then you also have your big um, veranda. So, so just go out. Yeah, you could go out. Yeah, and we get monkeys from time to time. Yeah, yeah. they don't come into the rooms, but I mean, you'd feel like you're part of the nation. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Thanks. The details I love. I love everything. Thank you. Let me go get my bag. I need to, I need to get ready for my stay. All right. Yeah. Please do. So I've had a fabulous day getting to check out Sterling Boutique Lodge. Now it's time for me to relax and just lay down and enjoy the ambiance of this beautiful setting that we're in at Sterling Boutique Lodge. The rooms offer a mixture of traditional architecture and modern style, all equipped with high-tech facilities and various entertainment options available to you, making this accommodation quite the affordable destination. Boutique hotels emerged as a trend with growing popularity and importance in tourism destinations. This concept evolved from typically unique properties operated by individuals or small companies. Nowadays, the trend of travelers is more than just convenient and comfort. People prefer staying at small and exclusive properties with exceptional services at premium prices. So I've just checked out of the Sterling Boutique Lodge and it's been a fantastic stay. I'm really, I really must say, I enjoyed my room. Thank you so much. I enjoyed the ambiance, the garden, the bar. There's so many things for you to actually check out when you come here. Thank you for watching Red Hot Destinations, providing honest insights and insider tips for personal experiences of hotels and resorts around the world.
Here at Telling, you are a truly valued guest destined to return.